What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do my own personal WWE Championship belt tier list. Um, I was thinking about this last night, and I was like, you know what? I think this would be an interesting bit a video for you guys, something different. And uh, I love me some WWE Championship belts. Um, of recent years, not so much. Uh, they haven't really been looking like i guess you could say they've been kind of lazy on some of these championship belts designs but i will say this before i even get into doing the tier list the uk nxt uk y'all have the best looking belts the nxt uk brand and their belts to me out of all the new belts that wwe has introduced as of late their belts look so damn good the nxt uk men's championship looks great the women's championship looks great the tag team championships men's tag team championships look fantastic they just look good they look prestigious they feel prestigious they got this royal look to them i've always liked nxt uk championships they just they're the best looking belts in my opinion of all the belts we have in wwe i just had to put that out there because you, you you guys belts are fantastic and they're prestigious y'all just don't be flipping the titles to anybody so i love that but that's neither here nor there we can talk about that on another time but let's get right into this tier list man we got a b c d and f we're gonna start with f and work our way up I ain't gonna lie, lie to you. It's not gonna be hard to figure out what we're putting in the F tier, man. It's not. Not for me, at least. Let's start with the Divas Butterfly Belt. Let me drag this right here. That's F tier. The Divas Butterfly Belt looked like a trash toy. It always looked like a trash toy. It looked like a toy. I even, I wouldn't, if I had a sister, I wouldn't give her this belt. It was awful. It was just a waste of a title. It did not look good. This is back in the Diva era of wrestling. It just, it was trash, bro. The Butterfly Divas, I, I couldn't do it, bro. I could not do it. it I, I just, I did not like the design of that, that belt. I just thought it looked like a legitimate toy. I, I couldn't see a woman going on a talk show holding a Divas belt. Like, bro, get that out of here, man. What you, what you got on you right now? It looks like trash. All right. I got to put... The tag team belts for Raw, SmackDown, and then when they introduce the tag team belts, they are F tier to me. They look awful. The bronze one is special. When you guys remember when they introduced that? But like, what the hell is this? It's not even gold. This looks trash. And then they went to fucking quarters. They look like big ass quarters, bro. It went from a penny to a quarter for the respective brands. That shit looked awful. I, I cannot stand the look of the current main roster tag team belts. They are doo-doo. I know they don't have all the championship belts on here, all versions of them. Um, but this is just something that I can find pretty quickly. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to, I think that's it for the F tier, man. Those belts, to me, that's on this list, is dog water. Doo-doo. All right. Let's go to the D tier. I'm going to probably put the women's nxt championship before they changed it it reminded me a little bit of the divas championship i just thought it, it looked a little too kiddish like the nxt women's championship i felt like should look better and i'm glad that they did change it but originally i just thought it looked a little too kiddish for my taste i just was not i wasn't feeling it. i was like uh it reminds me of the Divas belt, even though they are much, there's there's no talk of Divas in NXT at that time, so, but I, I was not feeling it. I'm going to have to put the women's belt. You guys remember the old school women's belt? Even though I know it's a classic and legendary belt, I just always thought their belt was like a, a an afterthought. Like, it was incredibly small. It just seemed like an afterthought. Yet, there some great women won that belt, but it just seemed like an afterthought to me so i always didn't really too much care how the belt looked i more cared about the person that was holding it and i felt like the women's belt deserved something bigger something a little bit more like like oh yeah i'm the women's champion it just it looked like a it it looked like a i guess you could say like a belt you would get out of a 
out of a carnival or something. Like it, it didn't give me that prestigious vibe. So I'm gonna have to put that in the D category. I'm gonna put the cruiserweight belt. I mean, it's cool. You know, it's just you know, but you see how far that went. You know, what I'm saying with the cruiserweight division when they was trying to uh, push it on the main roster. It's a cool looking belt. It's just I, I don't really too much care for it. Um, the the color scheme and stuff. It's it's okay. It, you know, it doesn't really give me like uh, a vibe of uh, interest of. Oh, that's a dope championship. You know, what I'm saying it was just like a it's an okay belt for me. So put it in C tier. Twenty four seven belt definitely gotta put that there even though it's 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 not a bad looking belt i think i just i can't take it seriously because it has 24 7 on it um of course i'm gonna probably put the hardcore belt in there i know a lot of people were probably like why would you put it in the c tier you know uh, it, the belt was it made sense for why the belt looked like fucking trash you find out by a dumpster or whatnot but i think what made that belt just work better is because of the gimmick behind it and the people that was involved in the hardcore 24 7 belt that's the only reason in my opinion i think that belt even has the type of look like the 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 remembrance of people like oh i remember the old school hardcore belt it, it wasn't it was basically the broken eagle i believe belt but all like you know, the, the wing eagle belt, but it was all broken up. It kind of gave that vibe. So it was cool. But aesthetic wise, it just, it didn't really look too well. But I think they did that on purpose. I still give that, put that in the C tier for me personally. Um, Let's see. Um, This may be a, uh, a little controversial for what I'm about to put in the C tier. The NXT, the original NXT belt, it, it granted, it, it was very prestigious. People who had this belt, they they made it look good, they made it prestigious, but at the same time, for me, it was just a big N and X and T. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, I like the newer one they have now. It's much better looking, but it just it looked kind of weird to me, especially when I first saw it. But I gave it a pass because. They treated it with such care and, and seriousness, the champions that held it, that I was like, you know what? It, it started growing on me, but for me personally, I put that in a C tier. I know people may not like that or agree with that, but that's just my personal opinion on that one. I'm going to put the women's tag team championship, the main roster tag team championship. I'm going to put that in the B tier. It's a, it was, it's a, Great looking belt. I like the belt design. It looks nice. It looks sleek. I'm rocking with it. I just, you know, wish the main roster on the women's side had a better tag team division. But I do like the design of that belt when they initially introduced it. I thought it was pretty cool. The NXT North American Championship. I put that in the B tier. Great looking belt. I like it. And the people that's held it, they definitely made it seem like a big deal. So I do like that belt. Put that in the B tier for me. Um... Put the United States Championship in B tier. It's always, you know, a good looking title. And I, I always enjoyed, you know, I enjoyed it. I remember the spinner belt one. They don't have it on here when John Cena won it and made it a spinner belt. But I got it. it United States Championship has to always be, in my opinion, nothing less than a B tier belt. And it's, it's a nice, simple design. I like it. The Intercontinental Championships in the B tier column. Um, only because only because i mean they they were cool looking belts but i didn't really get like just uh oh that's an a tier belt you know what i'm saying for my personal taste they just look good you know they're good looking mid card belts so i know this is the smackdown tag teams uh belt and this is the raw uh raw tag team i didn't mean to put that in c that's the raw tag team belt so i gotta put that there in the b column uh, I don't even know if I'm going to have enough space to add. Uh, let's see. Those were kind of self-explanatory. Uh, they were, you know, decent looking tag team belts. Um, this one, I think this is the tag team belt. I'm not sure. I literally just trying to find the image of this belt. I couldn't find it. So if you guys know exactly what this belt is, let me know. Because um, I believe this is also... A tag team, the, the SmackDown tag team belt. 
I could be wrong. I think so. They just a SmackDown tag team belt. I'm not sure. Like I said, some of these, I literally was trying to look up the images because the images are kind of small. So some of them I was able to find, but some of them I was like, bro, what is that? I'm gonna definitely add this one in the B tier. I'm really trying to figure out what belt that, that is. So let me know, y'all. This belt has to go in the... I'm about to put this in the D tier. I forgot. <laughs> No, the Universal Championship, before it became blue, the Blueberry Championship, when it first got announced, that belt just did not look good. Granted, the people that held it were, you know, they tried to make it prestigious, but the belt always looked kind of, I just, a red championship belt from the main title. It's just, because it was on Raw, I didn't like it. I don't think a lot of people liked it, even now that it's blue. I don't really too much care for it. It's not an F tier, and I think the only reason why it's not is because of the people that held it. Um... But I would definitely put this as a D tier belt. I forgot to mention that. Um, actually, on these WWE championships, I also forgot to add uh, where would I put them. The main belts, I would probably put this one slightly above at C. Uh, this one when it initially came out, still at C. It's just a big W. I, I feel like it just didn't have that that creative design it is cool it has the wwe logo on it but it just didn't give me that creative design i was hoping the new championship belt would look um not gonna lie to you i know some of y'all gonna be like wait how i'm not gonna lie to you the spinner belt i always liked i did feel like it kind of got dated after a while when john cena introduced the spinner belt that was like right around the time where people <laughs> had spinners on their cars if you remember like they had spinners on their rims that's that was right around that era of spinners people had spinners on the everyday car on the fancy car and if you don't know what spinners are basically when the car stops the rim keeps spinning and i always thought that was cool so when they in, john cena introduced it on the championship on the uh he introduced it on the uh, United States Championship and then introduced it on the WWE Championship. I thought it was originally cool. Not going to lie. And then I also like uh, uh, Edge's version of it. He got the rated R star spinning on it. I thought it was cool. It fit the time period, but after a while, it did start looking like a toy and it got older. So I I know some of y'all are like, how could y'all put that in B tier? At the time, it was cool, bro. That spinner belt was cool around that that 2003, 4, 5, 6 era. Well, I want to say, um, not 2003. I want to say like 2005, 2004, 5, 6 era. Because that's when spinners was a real popular thing to have on your car, on your rim. So, I know, I know, I know. You guys may not like that. Um, I'm going to, I get this belt, the little, the Daniel Bryan Eco belt. I'm going to probably put that in the C tier as well, only because I get why it was made, you know, obviously, you know, to fit Daniel Bryan's character, but it still didn't look good. It didn't really look the best. So C tier. Um, I can put the women's. Now, the women's belt, I think, look better than the men's. So I'm going to put those in B tier. The women's Raw and SmackDown because of the white strap. That's why it looks better. That's the only reason why it looks better because of the white strap. The white strap makes the women's championship look a lot better than the men's, in my personal opinion. That's just how I feel. The men's look cool. It's just they look generic. But at least with the women's Raw and SmackDown, the different color plates make it look good. And the white straps make it look good better than the men's, in my opinion. Um, honestly, I think that's it. And then we all know, we all know, actually, no, before we get to the A tier, uh, the tag team, I'm going to put that in B tier when they change, uh, uh, this was like the, the, the older tag team belt. Um, so I got to put that in the B tier. These are my A tier belts. Of course, we'll have a championship. Uh, not sure which belt this is. I'm not sure. I know it's from the Attitude Era. It does look familiar. It looks like the tag team belts. Could be the tag team belts. That's what I'm thinking. Comment down below. Let me know. I can't really tell. The image is so goddamn small. But, of course, 
Eagle Belt, all these, they're F tier. Now, you're probably wondering why did I put the Intercontinental Championship in the S, in the A tier? Uh, I don't know. Did I say F tier recently? I'm tripping, man. But now, nah, why did I put the Intercontinental Championship in the A tier? Well, this one has the white straps. This is the old school one. This one has the white straps. The other ones have the black straps, and they're cool, but this just worked. It just looks better with the white straps, so I had to put that in the A tier. I remember when they brought it back. I know they've changed the Intercontinental Championship look. Not a big fan of it. Glad they don't have it on this list, but I know they did change it. Change it. This has to be A tier. The Stone Cold one, the Skull one has to be A tier. European Championship, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, that's the European Championship. That's A tier. Um, what else? The Men's NXT. I actually would put that in B tier. I'll put that in B tier. The men's NXT, the newer, the men's and women's NXT, the newer ones look better than the older ones. So, if you let me put it in here, all right. The men's and women's NXT championship now look better than the old ones. Uh, the NXT, the men's NXT tag team. Not gonna lie to you, I like the design. I gotta put that A tier. I just like the way it looks. It looks cleaner, much better than it did before. And then, of course, the Women's UK Championship, the Men's Tag Team UK Championship, and, of course, the Glorious Men's UK Championship. All of those are A tier. All of them. So, this is my list. This is my list from A all the way down to F. I think this is a solid list. The F belts, the F tier belts make sense to me. The D tier belts make sense to me. The C tier there's a lot of B tier. And like I said, some of these belts, I, the only reason why I put them in the B tier because of what their prestige and two, they, you know, they, they were B tier mid card belts anyway. So it made sense. So, and then the A tier belts, NXT UK, like I said at the beginning of this video, y'all hold it down with the best looking belts. And then the old school retro uh, WWF wing championship belts, the Stone Cold. Skull Championship Belt, European Championship Belt, World Heavyweight Championship uh, Belt. Like, those belts will always be iconic and special to me. So, yeah, I know there's some belts on here that are missing from here. And if you're able to help me out on some of the belts I was kind of confused on or which ones they were, let me know down below in the comment section. I know you guys will already. But, uh, yeah, I also want to know y'all list as well. So, comment down y'all list of belts in tier order from a to f let me know where you would rank your uh rank the wwe belt ch championship belts tiers and you know put it down in the comment section down below so we can have that discussion call so i can see if if it's kind of similar to what i have right here but i appreciate all love and support road to cck appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace